Okay guys, so once again, we are in Toilet Tower Defense. And for this video, we are going to be placing as many Cage Scientist Clockmen as we can in Endless Mode. Because if you saw the video yesterday, you would know that I got literally four Cage Scientist Clockmen. And then on top of that, I got a uh, Titan Mogman too. So that was, um, yeah, it was a really cool bonus. More of the stories, I got really lucky yesterday. And I'm now going to use that luck for a video. But before we get into the max, make sure you like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, let's go. All right, so we're spawning our first Santa. We get our extra money. Then we place another Santa. And now we got double the money. No, well, that's kind of why I like having the ability, though. Because it gives me a lot of, um, you know, coolness and a lot of moolah. You might peep that I brought the gravity gun. It's kind of because I want to see him do slowing. I know that sounds crazy because you're probably like, Equip, how have you not seen it yet? You dummy, you need to keep up with TTD. Listen, I know, I know. But I heard that the gravity cameraman is actually the best slowing unit in the whole game is what i heard so we're gonna test that out as well for fun because why not because we don't have to place only cage scientist clockman right yes yes we do we're only gonna be placing cage scientist clockman i do not care all right so we now have our first starter unit down mr mewing tv man he is still the best starter i do not care what anyone says blah 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 blah. best starter in the game but yeah uh the goal is that we only place down cage scientist clockman just look at bro bro is a beautiful look at bro but the goal is we are only gonna be placing this guy down and I'm gonna get as many as him down as I can and it's just gonna be like it's just gonna be a big wall of just cage scientists with the gravity guy I simply just want to try him out just for uh you know just for funsies yeah because if you look down there he does 20,000 dps so it's not like he's like overly powered but I heard he's the best slowing unit in the whole game okay our Santas are getting there it is taking a while though actually I, I think I'm gonna try and get my next one down for fun because why not I don't really think it matters matters if they can be stunned if i'm not mistaken okay let's place it the way he's like facing the track like that perfect there we go maybe i could have moved him back just a little bit but i think i think it looks fine oh wait let's upgrade before we get wave skipped can someone tell me what this bar means what does that mean Ten thousand damage why does he have a bar with the sword okay he's only 1500 to upgrade that is super cheap i'm not gonna lie that is super duper duper cheap let me get this guy's camera repair drone on him because he is going to need it in a second <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. He is going to need it in a second. Because uh, he is our mewing TV man. He is very strong, but he can also be taken down by just a little bit. But no, you see, he got healed. Oh, and he's sleeping. Wait, he keeps spawning cages? Wait, what? Oh my... Oh, wait. I thought it was only like a one cage kind of thing. Wait, bro might actually be him. It just depends on how many you can place. It doesn't I, It doesn't show how many you can place. This is not Five Nights TD. I don't know how many we can place, so we just got to hope it's more than like two. All right, let's upgrade him for 15. I don't have 1500. Are you kidding me? Also, I was going to bring a DJ, but I didn't bring him because I don't think that this guy can be buffed at all. He doesn't really do anything. He just spawns cages. But not going to lie, spawning three cages is really overpowered. But I'm I'm going to skip to whenever we have our Santas maxed out. Okay, so we now have all of our Santas completely maxed out. I'm going to sell this camera repair drone right here, which I know seems really crazy, but it's actually not that crazy because we're going to turn around and max him out right now. There there we go. All right, he's maxed out. Uh, our mewing should be alive for a little bit longer. My goal here is to see how many cages he can spawn. If it's more than three, I don't really know, but I want to test it out and I want to see if it's more than three. Holy crap. Okay, he is really cheap. Look at this cage. There's a level three cage. That is so very uh, cool. Yeah, it has little stone on it like we're playing Minecraft. All right, it's time to use the gravity guy too. Actually, no, I want to upgrade this dude first. Okay, let's get one more wave skip, then we can upgrade him. Aha, uh -huh, he thinks he's he thinks he's making it through you see that he thinks he's making it through all right upgrade again whoa okay wait i like this the unit's finally not glitched out anymore okay a million hp that's a nice cage so i guess he spawns every 25 seconds again i don't know how many he spawns but he spawns every 25 seconds that's all i know uh i guess i'm gonna try and like spread them out though because i feel like that would be better to try and spread them out you can only place two k side this clock min Oh my gosh, you're kidding. You know what? Okay, this is honestly fine. This is fine. Because this is going to be about the gravity guy too. We're going to utilize the gravity guy slowing and see what he does. 30,000 is wild. Though. I'm going to keep it completely honest. 30,000 is crazy. Okay, so it says 100,000 on the damage thing. I don't know what that even means. Wait, what? Huh? What does that even mean? I am not following. I'm not going to lie. I'm not understanding this. Okay, you know what? Let's just get a, uh, let's get a gravity guy right here. The slowing is crazy. 
crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 100,000 DPS. Oh, oh wait. Oh, 4,000 damage. 100,000 strength. 50% toilet slowing. Wait, he doesn't slow the most. I think I've seen one that was like 60%. Someone said he slows the most. Hey, hey, he's still slowing a lot though. All right, we're just gonna let him slow now. Uh, So I guess his range moved because I did not do this. Why is his range like that? I guess his range moves. Does it move? Oh, it does. Oh, wait. He puts down like little gravity orbs. What is that? It's like a bimmy colored orb. Oh, no. He's gonna sue them for this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. There's no way bro spawning four cages though. This is very insane. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. But this gravity guy is even crazier because he's really strange. I guess it's like if they're in the blue, they obviously go extremely slow. So I, well, Oh, wait. So if they're... Oh, I see. Wait, so I think whenever they get into the white is whenever they slow down, right? Nope. It's whenever they get into the blue is whenever they slow down. So yeah, whenever they get to the blue, they slow down, but it's 360 AOE. So it's just doing 20,000 DPS to them at all times, which is wild. All right. Maxed out cage scientist. I know that was very unexpected. Holy crap. Okay. That actually looks really nice. He has a toilet locked up inside of it and it has 2.5 million HP and it just one shot that boss. Yeah. So this cage scientist is going to be our background defense he's going to be our you know the guy that's gonna carry if they get through you can sell them right okay good so what i was good what i was thinking with this guy was i was gonna place one like over here so he has like a lot more range to place wherever he would like to maybe move up a little bit okay there we go absolutely perfect and then gravity guy will just continue being a uh, gravity guy should we actually sell him and see how good arcade scientist men can do because i think if we wait 25 seconds they'll place another one ah this is good i think we should yeah sell gravity let them get through okay so i know this looks really bad but the goal here is to max them out so they'll only be placing maxed out cages so my goal is to let them get all the way through until they break this level five four five and three so then it can just be only level five cages and then we'll start slowing them down and place some mewing to get through them if we have to okay boom 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 they broke the level three cage max them out gravity guys on the board let's get rid of all these people around here yep max out that mewing get all these people out of the way gone done for done with everything i don't have enough money to place this troop are you serious well we better get enough money to place this troop okay so the goal now is that we're just slowing them down basically at all times and we're trying to get mewing tv man to take all of them down because i want them to be able to spawn their cages but i think there's only one decision to make here montage Okay, so I think the good part about right now is that we can place these gravity guys like basically anywhere. So if you look, they're basically always going to be getting slowed down whenever they walk through here. The goal is to get them to be slowed down all the time, but I think all the time is like nearly impossible. But honestly, I think we should be good. The Mewing TV man is maxed out. We just, it's just all about these cage guys now, but I want them to be able to place as many cages as they can. So I'm trying to stop these people from getting through as much as I physically can. Also, I think I understand understand what the 25 million thing means now so basically it can hold 250,000 hp worth and then once it gets to max level then the people are basically gone it, it, it it'll catch them in the cage and then they'll start hitting the cage there we go it's a better way to describe it. Yeah, well, once they hit right here, like, or like right here in this blue circle, they're going to be always getting slowed from there on out. But now it's just kind of about placing a few mewing, mewing TV men to kind of help us out a little bit. Or mewing TV men. I've actually never placed this many mewing TV men. There is so many. Oh my God. Yeah, so imagine just getting completely slowed and getting stunned at the same time. Like these guys are having a hard, hard time. They are not having a very good day. Imagine just coming home on your day for work and the gravity cameraman starts slowing you down okay that's not that's that's not gonna happen oh brother anyways you know what i think in all fairness of the video we have to just do this right now yep it's time sell 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 all right and it is official sell the santas too i have now placed as many of these guys as i physically can there's not really much else i can do and we just get to see their very cool cages and that is about it um well 
this is not really going to plan. Why is he carrying a tiny... Look, he's carrying it like a little baby. Don't eat the turkey. Oh, no. He's going to eat the turkey. All right, I have an idea. Don't worry. We're, we're, hey, we're going to come in clutch. This is what makes the game fun right here. Please, let me sell one of these guys real quick. No, 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 please, no. I almost got it. Oh, I almost got it. He would look. He was right at the start. Look, there was a level five cage and everything. Okay, guys. So I really enjoyed making this video. I know there's not as much TTD on this channel now, but I, uh, you know, I just the game's been dying a little bit. Let's just be fair. Anyways, though, that's beside the point. I had a really good time making the Kate Scientist video because it was really fun to just place Kate Scientist. But also, my luck kind of paid off from yesterday's video. So I knew I had to make like a funny meme type video about this today. Anyways, uh, make sure to like, subscribe so I can feed my family. I will see you guys in the next one and goodbye.